Northern Minnesota's Lake Winnebagashish is a 58,000 acre fish factory and is the fourth largest lake located solely within Minnesota's borders. High Banks Resort on Lake Winnie is a first ice to last ice destination. Keeping the lodge open all season long, they are always on top of the hottest bites and no one is more on top of perch location on Lake Winnebagashish. You know, we're with some perch hunting fanatics on today's show and we're on arguably one of Minnesota's most notorious ice fishing destinations, especially if you're looking for perch. And the perch fishing has been kind of the, that's been the, the buzz on the, on the ice belt all winter. That's the correct. Perch fishing on Lake Winnebagash. That is correct. We've, uh, we've been doing very well this winter. A lot of moving. Uh, there is a lot of little fish. There's a substantial number of 9 to 11s and up to the 13s. Well, those are nice perch anyway. Very nice, yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, and a guy can get out and get moving, and you can get a good good mess of fish. You guys drill a lot of holes. Don't we you? move, we move, we move. All right, well, let's drill a few holes. Another nice one. Nice color. See if I can't do it again. Yeah. Good eater. You know, and it's just typical perch fishing too. You know, these guys are doing a lot of holes to so you know, keep their fish houses on fish. And they rent fish houses out of High Banks Resort. And these guys are the tip of the spear, <laughs> so to speak, in the sense that they're just, you know, they're, they're covering this lake, moving all the time. And, and uh, everything they do is about mobility, staying on the move trying to stay one step ahead of the crowds and trying to keep up with the fish. And these perch are just nomadic. They never stop swimming. Oh, I gotta put on my gloves. So what we're doing today is we're, uh, we're out moving and running and gunning. Um, it's a little cold, but uh, the trick in catching these bigger fish is you need to stay mobile and stay away from the crowds and just use your electronics to your advantage and fish through the little ones. Watching the bottom, you know, we'd like to jig two, three feet off the bottom and you'll see the bigger ones. You can see on your Vexar, they'll race right up and drill it if that's a, a decent one. Got one there? All right. I got one here, Jay. There we go. Oh yeah, nice work. That's a good one. Right there. It's a good average size perch. Makes it tough with it when it's this cold. Right here, this is about a seven inch perch. When I'm out scouting looking for fish, if I'm on a lot of these fish, I will keep moving. So like right there, constantly catching little ones and I would be on the move already, searching for the next school of big ones. And like I say, it's, sometimes it's a mile, sometimes it's a half mile I gotta move. But I know what I'm looking for. Right now I'm fishing in a, in a hole in a flat. So I'll just continue on down the lake north or south 
look on my GPS, find the next hole, drill that one up, and it might take three or four holes in these flats that I'm looking for, but once I find the one that's got the big fish in, you pretty much stay there for a couple hours until you fish it out. There you go. Well, I've lost them here. I think I've wore out my welcome. I'm just gonna pop to another hole. We've got holes drilled all over in this in this inside turn that we're fishing, and you know, you you wear out your welcome. You catch a few fish, and then the the, the school moves, and so it's just a matter of going to another hole. But it's amazing how you can have a good hole, and that hole dries up and goes dead on you and you go back in there 20 minutes half an hour later and some big fish have moved in so just a matter of just moving around when you see these fish come in you can tell how active they are they'll, they'll you'll see them come in a foot two they'll, they'll wiggle around and all of a sudden you just try to keep your bait ahead of them, above them, and that one just came right in out of nowhere. There we go. That's a good one. Lake Winnebagosh. You know, the new FL28 has got different color palettes that you can use and in, 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 uh, adjust to, to maximize what you're seeing. And, one thing that I like to do when I'm fishing for deeper perch, especially when they're right on the bottom like they are in this situation, is the traditional Vexlar color palette is red, yellow, and green. On the FL28, there's another color palette, which is a red, yellow, and green, and then a white. Now, the white is just a stronger signal than the traditional red, and so what you can do when you're adjusting your gain on your Vexilar, when you're using that color palette, is you can turn it to where the bottom is going to look white or pink, and then basically anything that's above that is going to be red. And so a lot of times when these fish get on the edge of the cone angle, you'll, ju you'll just see some red right off the bottom. And just a nice warning that uh, the fish are coming in. Because a lot of times you're working it pretty aggressively trying to pull those fish in. And then once they come in on you, Especially with this soft plastic tail, I've been just kind of quivering in place. And so a lot of times when you're when you don't have fish right below you, you're working the rod tip a little bit differently than when you have fish moving in. There we go, Jay. All right. Nice. Nice fish. Nice love picture. Everything's tougher when it's cold out. That's a good one. You know, when you're fishing on Winnie, compared to some of the other big lakes in Minnesota, we try to look for them areas where you got a deep water escape and it comes up to a shallow feeding bed, which like Mille Lacs, a lot of guys get the perch off the deep edges of the flats. They're out there chasing the, the, the bugs in the mud, where here, a lot of Winnie is, uh, you know, they're chasing bait fish, schools of bait fish. And uh, there is a lot of uh, different kinds of bugs in these weeds. We're fishing, you know, anywhere from that 20 to 10 feet of water and then up into the shallower water as the season progresses. We find they're down there now. We find that we find these fish chasing these schools of minnows, and they'll be just absolutely puking up the minnows as we catch them throughout the winter. Oh, there's another good fish. Boy, these fish, they just stop it in its tracks. I'm just using four pound test, and 
the spring bobber rod, you can kind of see there that spring is light, but I like the rod itself heavier. This is a new Gen 7 series, but oh yeah, there's a nice fish there. There, look at there. Another dandy perch. That single hook just pops out of there so nice. All right. Fun, fun, fun. Just can't stop. It's just addicting. Oh! It's a heavy fish. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at that jumbo. Nice fish. Nice fish. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful fish. That's why people come up to Lake Winnebagosh right there. I mean, there's a lot of perch in this lake. Here at High Banks, we, we have uh, 11 cabins and then we have our loft unit, which is our biggest unit above the bar here, and that sleeps 12 people. Our cabins, we can sleep anywhere from a couple to as many as 12 in one cabin, which is our loft unit. Um, our sleepers on the lake, we have two 10 by 20 sleepers that it's 16 holes, it sleeps eight people. And then we have two eight by 16 houses that sleep four people and have eight holes. So we can accommodate the big groups and the small groups. The lodge is a full service bar. We have a bar, restaurant, we do corporate packages and stuff like that. We have our guide service, which you had the luxury of being out with today, that will take you out and they pretty much take care of everything. Box lunch during the day, they take care of the minnows and take care of, they have the rods and everything for you. And they move around a lot. They work hard trying to find the fish. And, but if they don't have a rod, if they don't have a Vexilar, we have those here for rent. We have rods that they can use and stuff, you know. We usually start about January 1st. We don't like to push the envelope much. We like to see 14 inches of ice on the lake before we get out and do anything and start setting houses. We'll run all the way through till the end of walleye season, which this year was early at February 22nd. And then we'll leave the houses on until about March 1st. Perch wise, um, you know, you get into March like this, they start schooling up, moving in shallow. That's when we're gonna start to see better numbers come in because they're easier to find. They're easier to, to pinpoint and, and catch. Um, Mid-winter, perch start to move a little bit deeper and stuff. and we, we basically just stay right on their tail and we keep moving with them and do what we can do. From a get-go, if somebody's just starting out and just wants to come up and experience it, experience the perch, experience the walleye, that type of stuff, yeah, we've got them covered. There we go. And they just kind of come through in waves. When they come through, a lot of times they'll get a couple of them on the screen at once. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice eater. What I've been doing here is I just got a single hook with just a Mackey minnow tail on there. Just when they start biting better, and they really start to open up, which typically happens in the middle of the day, especially when you get some sun. That single hook allows you to get unhooked and get back down quicker because a lot of times they'll come in spurts, like right there. Oh, swinging a miss. Just got them stacked down there right now. just up and down. It's just a matter of getting up and getting back down as quick as you can because they're not going to wait around for you. Because these fish are on the move. You can catch a lot of perch on this lake. Oh yeah, they're nice. Nice fish there. Just a, they even nip the tail off it, but it doesn't seem to matter. These fish just keep on eating it. There. There. 
Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Fish is taking out drag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at there, look at there. That is a nice perch right there. That's what I like about that single hook and that soft plastic though, is just look how fast I'm unhooking and just getting right back down because you know these fish aren't gonna wait for you, but yeah, just a just a gorgeous fish right there. And they're still down there. That's the thing is with these perches, a lot of times you just kind of get them worked up into a frenzy where you start reeling them in and you know those fish attract more fish. It's almost like you get a cyclone below you, a perch. That's why it's so important to just get back down fast because just keep that momentum going. From our base camp in Devil's Lake, North Dakota, we travel the whole Midwest looking for the best fishing bites. We like real-time fish reports, find out what bodies of water that we're fishing just to find the general patterns and techniques that we're using. Give us a like on Facebook and hit the road with Jason Mitchell Outdoors. Oh, there's a good fish. You know, a lot of times you can just tell they're the bigger ones, just they, they they shoot up a little higher and a little faster than the rest of the herd. Just a gorgeous fish right there. You know, this is just a renowned ice fishing destination. You look at the resorts up here, like we're staying at High Banks Resort, just a excellent winter fishing destination. And you know, what's interesting is that, you know, you go in so many places in Northern Minnesota and the resorts shut down in the winter time. A lot of these lakes become a ghost town. A lot of these communities, you know, just, pretty quiet in the winter time but but you get on Winnebagosh and uh, it's the exact opposite I mean these these folks are busy up here winter times a big season for them the reason being is because it's just a just a great body of water for ice fishing and so if you come up here you know you can you can stay at a place like high banks and you know all the roads are plowed they've got heated fish cleaning facilities, they've got heated fish houses out on the ice, they've got guides that are pounding the ice every day, and uh, great food, comfortable cabins, and so really it's turnkey, easy fishing. It's uh, truly one of the premier ice fishing destinations in the Midwest. Oh, got a good one? Yeah, heavy fish. All right. Oh yeah, look at there. There we look go, that. huh? That's a dandy there, huh? That's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's a, that is a dandy yellow perch. You got moles on them like a bass when they get that big, you know what? That's right. There. Yeah, just a gorgeous fish. Nice. Well, we've caught a lot of fish today. There. there. You know, it's addicting. It's, I mean, it's great. I mean, you got action. <laughs> you're, you're moving I mean, look around. at look at the screen right now. I mean, there's there's four it's or five feet up. of fish. Yep. I they, mean, it's just they come and go. You know, you get some big ones, you get little ones. But well, most of all, you know, you're just a lot of action. Lots of action. Yep. I mean, I can see why so many people come up here when it's such a popular place. Yep. It's a good destination, like Northern Minnesota. Absolutely, and they're not a bad eating either. They're beautiful. <laughs> People are probably wondering what's wrong with us with throwing all these perch back here. Yeah. But uh, come up here, these fish are still in the lake and uh, you know they're, they're waiting for you. So come up to Northern Minnesota Lake Winnie High Banks Resort. And uh, I tell you what, it's one of my favorite places. You know, Rick and Kim over there do a great job. They've got kids that are my kids' age and uh, just great people. You won't be disappointed coming up here. To find out more about High Banks Resort, Head to highbanks.com and book your next trip. Jason Mitchell Outdoors has been brought to you by Shields, Crestliner Boats, Clam, Vexilar, Ice Armor, Salmo, Cooper Chevrolet and Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods. Closed captioning provided by Woodland Resort. 
To find out more information on Jason Mitchell Outdoors, make their official webpage one of your favorite pages. Find out upcoming show schedules and airtimes, along with past shows, article and product reviews at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com. Great information on the outdoors is just one click away.